Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, so I've reloaded the game. Um, I had to reload it twice actually, and I still can't cut this coral, but I guess that that must just be this specific coral, but I went to a coral up here, and I went to a coral down there, and apparently I could cut those. I don't know if that was something that I could have done before, because I don't think I tried to cut those ones, but whatever. Anyway, this is Subnautica. I'm over to Potato. We've got some very, very, very important stuff to be doing today. That is for gosh darn sure. Uh, also, just another quick note. I had to reload for a second time, because the game bugged out, and I couldn't, like, change through my, like, hotbar. It was, like, my hot keys or whatever. It was kind of weird. But anyway, let's get some grub, folks. It's time for food. I picked up a Reginald. I don't want to pick up a Reginald. Reginald, you're getting dropped back down, buddy. You're too good. You're too valuable to me. Goodness gracious me. Every time I step out of that tank, it's like, you know, the frames just disappear. Uh, cook air sack. Yep, let's have some food. I am very, very hungry. I'm, you know, I'm excited to build a Cyclops, but I'm also hungry. So we're gonna, we're gonna have food first. And then we're going to build a motherfucking Cyclops. That's right, folks. That's right. It's going to happen. Uh, let's eat some disinfected water. You can't eat that, but whatever. I'm putting it out there. Uh, anyway, so what have we got for the Cyclops? Let's have a little sneak peek right about now. So Cyclops, Plasteel Ingot, we've got them. They're just in a chest. Uh, enameled Glass, we've got it. It's just in a chest. Lubricant times two, we do not have it. Advanced Wiring Kit, we do not have it. Okay, Advanced Wiring Kit is fairly simple to do. What we need to do is we need gold and we need a computer chip. And for computer chip, we need table coral, we need silver, and we need quartz. We've got the quartz, we've got the table coral. All that we need is some silver and some gold. And I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick all of our table coral apart from two pieces in this chest. So we'll always have it for the future and just in case it decides to bug out, uh, you know, we've always got a nice little uh, nice little supply which is really really nice and we should be able to build an advanced wiring kit with relative ease actually like holy shit that is insanely easy to do and suddenly all that we need for a cyclops is two times lubricant now if you'll note lubricant which is where yeah there uh, it's creep vine seed clusters times three so we need six creep vine seed cluster uh, now if i'm not mistaken they take up a, uh, excuse my French for this, by the way, but a shit ton of space. And I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I, I'm going to stick the advanced wiring kit in there. I'm also going to take my sea glide back. I put the sea glide in here because I was, you know, mucking around with the hotkeys and I was trying to get that fixed. Now, I was going to take that stuff back, but I'm going to actually need the space. So I'll leave the sea glide in there for now. Leave the battery in there for now. Leave first aid kit and the laser cutter in there for now because we're going to need a heck of a lot of space when we go out to uh, get the seed vine clusters and I actually like doing this part at night you know because you can just see where all of the clusters are immediately and I think that that is a really really cool feature you know this is literally the reason that this area glows bright green uh, because of all of these clusters so I really like the fact that we can do that we need six that's six that's actually so unbelievably easy. Where's the base? Where's, where's, excuse, the bar, the bar, the bar, the bar. Crash part, where's home? It's over there, found it, I found it folks. It's okay, crisis averted. Whoa, whoa, come on creep vines, get out of the way. Are we gonna be able to make it back to the base on one, on one breath of oxygen or one tank of oxygen? Say it ain't so. Oh my goodness, and it's just becoming day as well. Oh man, what a great, great time to be alive. Uh, let's go and make two times lubricant. Uno. Dos. I can't believe that the, you know, the massive, massive seed clusters, they just compact into two little, two little tubes of lubricant. All right, let's take uh, this out. Let's take all of this stuff out because we need it all. Let's we'll take it all, actually. Yeah, why not? And that, if I'm not mistaken, let's just check with the blueprints, it should be enough for a Cyclops! Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I'm so unbelievably excited for this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's not muck around anymore. You know, let's not muck around anymore. Vehicles. Cyclops. Oh man. All of the materials. 
are going in there. It's being built. Oh, it's like heaven. It is fantastic. Just look at that. You can see that the little the little robots are building it. And it's done! Oh, I hope it doesn't have a base. Whoa! 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, how do we get in this thing? That's my question. There's got to be some access ports somewhere. Uh, well, at the top, maybe. Oh, we got some radar or something going on up there. Pretty nice. Okay, so it's not at the top. It's not at the back. Maybe underneath. I know that you can somehow link the Seamoth in here. Oh, look, 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 look. I found, I found, I found the arrow. It says board Cyclops. How crazy is that? Oh, it's a different voice. It's a different voice. So I'm in the... Yeah, I must be in the downstairs part. Right now. Yeah? And this has got power 600 out of 600. Okay, I can go up this ladder. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, folks. Submarine name. Oh, this is going to be called... Uh, this is going to be called the... The potato. Right, let's turn caps lock on because the poto potato there we go and what color we're gonna have the base color of like what a base color of like that i think stripe one can be a nice dark blue or a nice purple and the name can be one like bright red bright red let's change this around a smidgen make it a little bit bluer there we go done done all right i don't know how that's going to look excuse me what 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 about what 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 i feel a little bit stuck right now oh yeah i was just <laughs> i was using the wrong keys what an idiot Oh man, it's changed. Look, the color scheme has changed. It's now orange a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. It just got big, <laughs> big, big red letters. We need to change that. It's got to be. It's got to be orange, right? It's got to be like my brand of orange, like the like the stripe. We've got to change that. We got to change that right now because that is just unacceptable. Okay, name, name. Yeah, same as the stripe. Sweet. So can we just can we just drive this thing? Oh, well, we haven't finished exploring actually yet. So open left click. No seamoth docked. Oh, okay. So this is the area in which we connect the seamoth. What's this? Nice to know that we can close the doors should we want to. Power cells. Okay, this is good, but we're not gonna have to replace the power cells, are we? Access upgrades. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, this is this is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Got a drive shaft there. Climb down ladder. Yeah, which is straight ahead. And this will take us into the belly of the beast once again, down to the bottom where Yeah, the 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 exit is, so to speak. Oh man, I'm I'm in love. I'm in love. Now, I have heard rumors that the Seamoth is charged by the uh, by the Cyclops. I don't actually know if that's true, but that would be kind of cool if it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... I'm in love. I, I am in love. I am in love. I, I I love this so, so much. Like, I'm having a whale of a time right now. This thing is huge. This thing is absolutely gigantic. It's absolutely immense. Let's use our, uh, let's use our sea glide a second to get uh, the heck over here. Aboard, let's get in the sea moth. Energy is at 73% on this thing. Let's, let's have a look at the docking procedure. Dock Seamoth. Is the door going to open up? Oh my god. And the door is closed at either side. Oh, we get lifted in! Holy shit. And all oh, the power is going down. 
The power is going down and the Seamoth is now fully charged. Are you shitting me? 100% energy. 100% energy. Oh my goodness. Lift me up. Lift me up. Or not. Lift me up. There we go. There we go. Oh my good golly gosh. That was that was too much to handle. I I kind of creamed myself a little bit there, I'm afraid, chums. That was kind of embarrassing. Um now something that we don't actually have already built on this this bad boy is a fabrication machine. So I guess we should probably do that. A fabricator, yeah. I mean I don't a modification station, advanced fabricator for modification survival stuff, communications relay. I guess we should probably try and build that because we don't have a communications relay. Let's go back to base and have a, have a look at stuff and see what is going on. Let's take stock because honestly I'm just blown away that we managed to actually do something that I said I was going to do. I mean it did take us a little bit longer than uh, it, it said that we were, I said that we were going to take but we got there eventually didn't we? We really did. We, we delivered in a major way. Holy cow. Okay. Anything else that we really want to take over there right now? I mean, I don't think that we can really have an aquarium on board the Cyclops. As much as I wish we could, I don't think we can. It's just, it's so unbelievably huge. It is absolutely huge. It's huge. It's just absolutely huge. And uh, I guess I guess the next stage is trying to upgrade either the Seamoth or the um, or the Cyclops. And to do that, we've you know we've got the upgrade the upgrade station for the Seamoth, not the Cyclops bridge blueprint. The modification station, uh, the wiring kit, and the computer chip. That's both probably doable. Uh, the water filtration machine. What? The water filtration machine? Where do we build that? Where do we build that? The propulsion cannon, yeah, I've seen that before. Uh, glass and two computer chips, that's totally possible to do. Can I build the uh, the water filtration machine on the the base? Like, how does that work? The water filtration machine separates water and salt. We build it outside. Is that how it works? Uh, let me just go back to the base and see how we can manage to get this to work. I don't, I don't know how this works. Does it clip onto the base? It might clip onto the base somehow. Honestly, I have zero idea how this thing is supposed to work. I would love to know how it, how it did work. No, oh, I found it. I found it, folks. I found it. Uh, can't put it on those panels there. We gotta put it on the multi-purpose room panel. There we go. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Hold E to deconstruct. Deconstruct. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, fingers crossed things haven't completely shat themselves yet. Is everything still fine? Oh, okay. There was a little bit of a breach. Got a little bit of a little bit of a problem over here. Let's uh, let's get the welder out and see if we can try and fix that. Actually, welder will map that to three. All right. So you know what? I'm just I'm sort of you know I'm completely disconcerted right now because I've got no idea. I've got no idea what to do with myself now that now that we've actually you know accomplished. Well, we've not accomplished our goals. Obviously, we haven't completed the game, but we've come so far. And I had no idea that we were capable of, uh, of actually accomplishing anything. So, you know, excuse me for, for sounding kind of impressed, I guess. Let's get a bulkhead if we can. Um, yeah, we'll get a bulkhead. I guess we need more titanium now, actually. Not silver ore. That's not what I meant. Lithium, that's what I wanted. Uh, bulkhead. There we go. Plus 7 HP. We'll whap it on there. I think we don't have enough titanium. Oh, well, we've got still a little bit, uh, a little bit of titanium left. I guess we can try building this water filtration thing. And I guess that means that we can just get salt whenever we bloody well please. And it's gonna overlap into the aquarium, isn't it? Hmm. 
No? I mean, I don't like how it works. Like this. Because I don't want to have to go in here and... No, I don't like this. I don't like this. We'll, uh... Uh, let's deconstruct this. Let's deconstruct this. We need a, a multi-purpose room. We need a multi-purpose room to install that in somewhere. Multi-purpose room. Six titanium. Okay, we need shit tons of titanium. Okay, well that's that's worth keeping in mind. I can do that uh, off camera or on camera actually. It doesn't really matter. But fucking hell. We have a cyclops, folks. We have a cyclops. We have, we actually have a Cyclops. I, I, you know, I'm so stunned. I, I just don't want to even, I don't want to break it. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to go near it because I feel that I'll, I'll fuck things up. Uh, let's build what we said we were going to build, like, literally 15 minutes ago. Uh, that is, of course, the appliances, the fabricator. Let's put the fabricator right there on the wall. Make sure that we've got something that we can use to make whatever we want to make. Cyclops pressure compensator rearranges the the submarine's hull's atomic structure to increase safe diving depth. That is essential. That is super super necessary uh, because apparently this thing can't go very deep without uh, without some upgrades. So I guess we will probably try and work on that in the next episode. But holy shit, this thing is balls crazy. This thing this thing is amazing. This thing is absolutely amazing. And I, I, I'm in love. I'm in love. And I, you know the fact that it, the fact that that we can just charge up the seamoth is just the most amazing thing in the world. It really, really is. Uh, is there anything on the other side over there? Like, is there anything? Power cell. We, we can look at the power cells. And we can exchange the power cells. It seems that we have to build them. Like you build more and more bloody power cells. Which is not something that I'm, you know, I'm super convinced that I like. Unless if we go up, we can charge them. Because I thought I remember them being charged. I thought I remember them being charged. Like, I thought I saw that number go up. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I've only ever seen it go down. Well, you know, we know for a fact... I think we can build a modification station, and I think that that is going to do something. So I guess, again, advanced fabricator for modification of survival equipment. Yeah, that's something that we need to we need to work on. Yeah, so I guess we've got a bunch of stuff that we need to get done, and a bunch of stuff that we're going to be able to do basically through getting a little bit more titanium. We've got a lot of resources back at the base, and we're going to be crafting a whole bunch of shit in the next episode, that is for gosh darn certain, because we can't go on an adventure, right? We can't go on an adventure and have this thing not charge itself. This thing has got to charge itself somehow, and that that must be an upgrade that we can get. Or if it's not, we must be able to get an upgrade that allows it to last a little bit longer, um, because, you know, 500 power, 600 power may seem like a lot, but we've burnt through, like, you know, a little bit just to charge the Seamoth, so we're going to see exactly what we can do. Unless, unless we can build, like, solar panels on this bad boy. Which just like, yeah, we can't build solar panels like this. Unless a thermal plant. We can't build a thermal plant on the inside. No, somehow I didn't think so. Yeah, well, we're going to try build an upgrade station. We're going to try and build, um, well, actually, we're going to try and build, like, shit tons of stuff. We're going to even build a, a communications relay. We're going to do, we're going to do loads of stuff. But I will be working on this stuff overnight, ladies and gents. So hopefully you'll join me in the next episode of Subnautica. Until then, folks, bye for now.